Welcome to Electro Online and welcome to another problem from the JEE main test set. Now there's many many examples and here's just one of them. It deals with thermodynamic processes. So what is the question here? The question says match list 1 with list 2 and on list 1 we have four thermodynamic processes isothermal, isochoric, adiabatic, isobaric and then in list 2 we have properties associated with the four processes either the pressure remains constant, the temperature remains constant, the volume is constant or the heat content is constant so how do they match up and then of course we have to pick the right answer which has the right combination of matches it's very easy to get confused with all the symbolism so to make sense out of things I like to mark each of these with the state variable that they're associated with that remains constant. For example, isothermal, the temperature remains constant. Isochoric, the volume remains constant. Isobaric, the pressure remains constant. Now for the adiabatic process, we know that there's no heat exchange, so heat going in and out is equal to zero. So how does that match up with list two? Well, temperature constant, that's this one right here, so they match up here. Volume constant, they match up here. Pressure constant, they match up there. What about the fourth one, adiabatic? It says heat content is constant, which I don't think is quite right because there's no heat going in or out, but in the adiabatic process, when the gas is doing work, heat from the gas is utilized to do the work so the heat content of the gas actually goes down. So since it's the only one left, I'm sure that this matches this, but it seems to be incorrect. But at this point, who cares? We need to get the problem right. So now what we're going to do is for A, isothermal, we have either two, one, or three. Now isothermal matches up with two, so this one is correct, and this one is correct. So at this point, we know that A or B can be correct, but C and D are already eliminated. We don't have to go through every one of them, we can just go one at a time and eliminate things. How about for B, isochoric, volume is constant, which matches 3. So this is 4, this is 3, so we know that this is incorrect, this is correct, and we don't have to go any further. We know now that B is the correct answer. Move on to the next problem. If you do this quickly without all the talking that I do, you can probably do this in about 30 seconds or so and move on to the next one, provided you remember these names. Do you remember that isothermal means temperature, isochoric means volume, isobaric means pressure, and adiabatic means that Q equals zero. If you know that right off the bat, then the rest of the problems is relatively easy and you can crank it out pretty quickly. And that is how it's done. Do you think they did that weird notation, A, B, C, D, and then lowercase no numeral, Roman numeral on purpose? I think it was done on purpose. I think it was done to confuse people. I'm looking at it like, wow. Yeah, when I first saw this question, I was thoroughly confused. And so I had to find a way through the confusion of all these numbers and letters. And doing this is what kind of saved me. And then it became easy. But without doing something like that, a little trick, you can very easily get things confused. So that's, that's how it's done. Doing that, having a problem like this one, this two is something I grew up doing. So you grew up doing these kind of tests? They didn't have ABCD choices at the end. Yeah. We just have to make the lines. You make the lines, yeah. And the then that was it. But um, making the lines is all I have known. So you stopped at this point, then you didn't have to go to this mess. To that. Yeah, yeah, that makes it difficult. But then looking at that, it's just such a mess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I thought, well, what's the best way to do it? And your technique is just making those lines, connections. It's really the way to go. Correct, yeah. 